Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 27th of 2025 is titled, A Rocket in the Sun. So, what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of our sun, and going across the middle of it there, we see a rocket with a long trail going out beyond it. And that was the launch of a rocket that occurred a few days ago on September 24th, and then rose up in the sky, passing directly in front of the sun. And we see it here silhouetted against the sun and its exhaust trail trailing back down below. Now you have to either plan this really well to make sure that your, the rocket will go directly in front of the sun. You've got to be at the right positioning so that will occur. So that's not necessarily an easy task to do, but if you know the positioning of the rocket, it certainly could be done to make sure that you can get the positioning just right as do, is done here. Now, the other dark splotches on the sun are sunspots. Sunspots are darker, cooler re regions on the surface of the sun. Now, cooler does not mean cold. They're simply cooler than the rest of the solar surface. The solar surface as a whole is about 6,000 Kelvin. The sunspots would be about 1,500 degrees cooler than this. So yes, they're significantly cooler, and that means that they're not putting out as much energy as the surface of the sun is itself, and that makes them seem darker compared to the solar surface. However, if you could take that material and put it out in space, it would actually be a nice orangish red color. It would still be giving off energy, just not near as much as the regions around it. Now, sunspots are caused by the sun's magnetic field as it twists and tangles up, and when it pops through the surface, it can inhibit the flow of energy from below, cooling off those areas of the sun. And the sunspots are associated with solar activity and can be associated with things like solar flares that then can affect Earth. Now, what was the purpose of this rocket? It had nothing to do specifically with the sun, but was actually launching three new weather missions to study weather here on Earth. So, to help us better understand the weather and how that works, as we still try to understand our complex weather system. Now, these are heading toward the Lagrange 1 point. Now, the Lagrange points are relatively stable points in the combined gravitational field of two objects, in this case, Earth and Sun. And the L1 point would be between Earth and Sun and would be where their gravitational fields balance. And that would give a relatively stable area for satellites. And that's why often satellites that are going to be put farther away from Earth like that are put at one of the Lagrange points where it tends to be a little more stable for the orbit. So that was our picture of the day for September 27th of 2025. It was titled, A Rocket in the Sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Spots on the Rocks. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.